Okay, so this is the 28th of June 2011. Uh, back at the property again, which has been refurbished. As you can see, uh, the joiners are back in. The radiators are off over there, the meter cupboard is. Uh, that bit there has been uh, painted now. Sorry, plastered. <laughs> Skirting boards as they go in there. I don't know if you remember from the previous um, video. Um, it was. Um, it needed plastering really. So that's all been tidied up. Skirting board is going to go in there. There was a bench seat that went into there. Uh, this pipe work here is going to be removed as the plumbers are going to take a new feed from there and they're going to go right over into the kitchen. So that's been done. Or oh, it is going to be done. We've had all the walls patched where the electrical sockets went in. Uh, the ceiling's been done. So as you look around the ceiling, you can see there. That, that's all being plastered so that has all been done to the cornices so we managed to keep the cornice in which is always useful what we have there is for a smoke alarm and also in the corners there where the burglar alarm is going to be coming through into the kitchen well sorry into the uh, bathroom there's a little room in here which is in between this is a lot uh, pantry it used to be the old where the old uh, electric immersion heater used to be and then you've got the coal water tank that was in there as well and you've got the, the copper cylinder that you usually recognize which is in there into the bathroom you can see that the walls have all been done now so i think i took photographs of that but I didn't take a video because i didn't have the camera at the time so that's the bathroom now, so that's all done. Just got a bit of grouting to be done. Um, as you can see, all from floor to ceiling. There was tiling in here originally, but they've just gone and tiled over the other tiles. Um, I just prefer that to uh, taking it all off, getting the old room replastered, and then tiling. Uh, these tiles were lost, as you can see, a very long time. Uh, bath panels got to be done. And we sort of incorporated with a bit of boxing here as well, as you can see. We just finished that off, so we made a feature of it. It's a nice shelf there. Uh, that's going to go there for, um, you know, putting bathroom bits on shampoo, conditioner. Also, we've got a special tap here. Um, what it is, it's a thermostatic mixer tap. So on the back, as you can see at the moment, if I step back a little bit, there is no shower in here. But there is going to be, and there's going to be a screen by the side as well. Uh, it's two o'clock, so maybe they're all sleeping upstairs. I don't know. There's no beds. Oh, by the way, the, don't worry about that. The handrail is going to be sorted out. There's going to be a thing called a, a patras, which goes um, on the wall there. It's a piece of timber, and the handrail is going to be fixed to that. So let's go upstairs and have a look. Uh, in regards to the fire, like I said, as we're walking up, uh, we're having a wall light here as opposed to going up onto the ceiling up there because it's going to be a nightmare if someone tries to uh, change the light bulb so we're having something there make it a bit safer for them uh, I think we've seen this room uh, strangely enough there's a radiator over there but that's come from the front bedroom if you look around the walls you'll see there's no bracket for a radiator <laughs> uh, just discovered this there's no radiator in this room so you know there are things which catch me out as well when you see central eating, you tend to think that it is in every room, but it's not. Got a door which is going to go on over there. You can see where the plasters have patched up again. Once that's rubbed down and they start painting, they'll be able to hide that. Uh, there we go. Uh, smoke alarm up there again. And then uh, just going to the other bedroom. And we have one in here as well. It's so if there is a fire downstairs, it's going to wake them in the bedroom. So it's got to be. Uh, you know, place somewhere where it will raise the alarm and get people up. It's no good downstairs or in the hallway or bottom of the stairs. It's got to be where, uh, when it sounds, you know, they know. Got a vent on the uh, chimney rest up here. As you can see, the walls look a bit damp. That's because this room's been freshly plastered, so it's drying out nicely now. Um, I think I took a video of it before it was, uh, you know, plastered. But it does make a difference and once it's carpeted and everything else you'll see a, a massive difference once again so this this is a work in process uh, 
work in progress, as they say, and uh, it's it's um, it's just got to dry off now. And that's ready for painting. That's what I do. All these transfers, obviously, going to be taken off the doors, and um, this room will just be painted. Uh, obviously, radiates are going back on there. Found that the um, moment the radiator off the pipes were quite loose underneath, so we've got to check whether or not the copper has been taken out. That's something to be looking at as well. Um, a bit of a squeaky step there, so we've got to get the joiners to have a look at that as well. I don't know if you heard that one, I stepped on that one. Yeah, so that's got to be sorted out. That'll just drive you crazy. 